Hello, future engineers. Welcome to Vex Robotics. Look around. The people sitting next to you will be your teammates who you will work, trust, and care for this year's competition. Now, I know you all want to start building your robot, but do you even know where to start? Engineers don't just start building their robot without a plan. A plan? Like the design process. But how do we start the design process? Well, this is what this video is all about. We are the Nerd Herd, and we will show you an engineer's guide on how to create an effective best design process. There are six steps in the design process, and all these steps must be recorded in an engineering notebook. The design process we will show you is almost the same format as Project Lead the Way. The first step is to define the problem. Think of a problem you and your team are trying to accomplish. With every problem, there's always a solution, and your goal is to find that solution. The second step is to generate concepts. Based on great ideas that will solve the problem your team created, research and generate ideas to report findings and share with your team. Identify criteria and constraints by reading the Vex rulebook and explore possibilities for further development. As an engineer, you can think of multiple ideas that you want to share with your team. Every idea counts. Let your imagination turn into a reality. The third step is to develop a solution. Select an approach to decide on your team's final idea and develop a design proposal by drawing analogy and sketches of your design. As an engineer, you are responsible to talk to your teammates about ideas to the team brainstorm and narrow them down to one final idea that will help solve the problem. The fourth step is to construct and test the prototype. All you do is model or build your prototype and test and evaluate it to collect data. As an engineer, you cooperate with your teammates and work on the robot. The fifth step is to evaluate the solution. Take a look at your data and modify or rebuild the robot to make it even better. Now, ask yourself, after you did all the previous steps, does your solution solve the problem? If it does, you're ready to do the last step. The last step of the design process is to present your solution. In this step, your final robot design is completely finished and ready for competition. In the competition, your team is required to present the robot to the judges. There are a few ways that will help your presentation be well organized and impress the judges. This way to present is to talk about the design process. You can present the design process and the robot through the engineering notebook, poster board, powerpoint, etc. It's your choice how you will present it. It's very important to do the design process because if you did a fantastic job with it, your team will receive the design award. The design process is not just for VEX. As an engineer, you can use the design process for solving real-life problems that can help not only earn a lot of money, but also change the world. Just imagine what would happen 50 years with new technology. No matter how long it takes, engineering never stops. To all engineers, I wish you all good luck on this year's Vex Robotics competition. Think. Create. Build. Amaze. Vex.